Hey, good afternoon, Darren with the Herb Cooker. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Herb Cooker Kitchen. Today we have a very, very special guest, Mary Connolly with Mary Jane's Beauty. Thank you so much for coming and joining us today. Thank you for having me. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Me more. We're gonna have a little bit of fun today with everybody. I know there's a couple of you at home that have explicitly told us that you're anxious to make barbecue sauce with us. Mm. Um, we're going to be infusing barbecue sauce today, Ooh. and we're going to make some cereal bars. Yum. And I'm hoping you'll tell me all about Mary Jane's beauty. Indeed, too. I will. Okay. Indeed. Um, every week on our episodes, we're always asking people, hey, do you have a recipe idea or a suggestion you'd like us to see? Mm -hmm. And last week, um, Justin in Reno said, hey, guys. I love my new herb cooker. I'm going camping and not everyone is cannabis friendly. Um, what do you suggest I take with me? So I thought, hmm. well, cereal bars, you know what I mean? Because they, they travel well. Travel well. Right? And I thought since it's camping, let's use some sour diesel. You know what I mean? Mm, I like it's, that. It's perfect for a wake and bake, right? Mm. Um, pain free. It's a little energy, um, nice cerebral high. Right. right. It is, stops the inflammation in their body after all that hiking yeah. and getting to the camping site. Yeah. And since it's not everybody's cannabis friendly, I was thinking, what else could we do for him? Barbecue yeah. sauce. Because he can put it on anything he wants. Okay. <laughs> so um, we're going to make our barbecue sauce first. But the first thing I want to do is I want to get our infusion going for the cereal bars. Okay. Okay. So. As you know, Mary, we use the herb cooker. Absolutely. Okay? Um, the herb cooker does not use butter. Right. Okay. It uses hash or key. Right. So we use a machine spun aluminum baseball. This gets very hot. Okay. And we're always, always, always is the same. It never changes. It's simply four cups of water in your aluminum baseball. Okay. Simple. Never changes. Nice. So you never have to wonder, how much water do I put in here? It's a nightmare. Four cups. It's always the same. Okay? Consistency. And then this has comes with a, a, a stainless steel insert. And what this does is it traps all the heat inside. Oh. Okay. So this gets really, really hot. It does have cool touch handles. So these are generally typically pretty cool. Some people are a little heat sensitive. So, <laughs> you know, don't just grab and go, oh my gosh. But um, for me, I can always pick it up. So this just goes on any stove top. Doesn't matter whether it's a gas stove, an electric stove, ceramic stove top. If Justin wanted to, he could have actually brought an herb cooker and used it on um, a camp stove. You know Easy. What I mean? So um, then with the herb cooker, we have a stoneware infusion bowl. Each one of these is unique. They're all handcrafted right here in Vallejo, Gorgeous. specifically for the herb cooker. Um, wow. We're going to try to make 50 milligram um, cereal bars today. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, three grams of sour diesel hash. Mm. And I'm just going to put it right in here. And all we want to do when we do this is you just want to flatten the hash down okay. in the bottom of your bowl. So you can use a pestle. You could use the bottom of a pill bottle. You can use a shot glass. It really doesn't matter. Just flatten it down. Just to compress it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's flat. And then for every gram of hash we use, we use a half a tablespoon of vegetable glycerin. Okay. And vegetable glycerin comes with the herb cooker kit. Simple. And we have reorders available at the herbcooker.com so you can reorder your vegetable glycerin so you never run out. What was that ratio again? You said one tablespoon? A half a tablespoon half? Uh -huh. to every gram. Every so grade. I'm going to use one and a half um, tablespoons of vegetable glycerin. So there's my one. Mm -hmm. Never completely covers the hash or the keef. Don't worry about it. It will. All the vegetable glycerin is doing is acting as a catalyst right. to activate the THC. Okay. Since we're only using hash, we're only using the trichomes from the hash plant. So they need to expand and explode if you will and activate right activate me up that yeah, exactly great. so see how i didn't completely cover the hash yep it will so then this goes right inside the insert right and we just put this on medium low uh, for about 14 minutes is it really that easy it's that simple and wait 
until you notice while we're playing around and having some fun in here, there's no odor. Okay? So if you live in an apartment complex, if you have a lot of neighbors, or if you have family members that... Um, don't want to smell this. Don't want to smell it. Um, it doesn't matter. You live in a college dorm, right? Um, you can activate your THC and no one knows what the heck you're doing. Nice. Okay? So... Benji, you got a time for us on our hash infusion, right? So let's make some barbecue sauce. Let's make some barbecue sauce. Okay. So I know, I know, you can go to the store, you can buy barbecue sauce, but why not make your own? Um, we're using a nice base barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. and the cool thing is um, you can alter the recipe as you want. Um, the nice thing about using the herb cooker, though, is we never have to alter a recipe for our infusion. You know huh. what I mean? So a lot of people say, oh, do you have cookbooks? Yes, we have cookbooks coming, but you just add the infusion in, usually Regardless with the fats. Regardless of what got it, right. You know, you don't have to calculate, oh my gosh, this is using butter. How much butter do I have here? This green, gross, disgusting but, stuff, <laughs> right? You, you never have to calculate anything. Mm. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to if you're making barbecue sauce at home just to recap it's one cup of ketchup mm. tablespoon of mustard mm. I'm using regular mustard you can use Dijon mustard you can use honey mustard you, get fancy. Um, you could um, use hot mustard it doesn't really matter um, we're going to use apple cider vinegar Ooh. you can use regular vinegar you can use balsamic vinegar mm. so you can change this I'm using lemon juice Use lime juice. It doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to use brown sugar. Use honey. You know, um, alter the recipe um, however you want to do it. Um, I'm using regular black pepper and celery seed. Mm. You might want to omit the celery seed. It's completely mm. up to you. Yeah, maybe you want to add a little bit of cumin. Oof, maybe you, know? you do. Oof. Um, so, really, this recipe is just a good base for anyone at home that wants to make... Um, their own barbecue sauce. Mm. So I have one cup of ketchup, okay, and we're just going to dump that right in here. And actually, quite easy ingredients. I mean, who doesn't already have a little bit of ketchup and mustard and brown sugar and lemon at home already? You know, when we started the herb cooker, um, we wanted to ensure that everything we make you can get at a grocery store near you, easy. no matter where you live in the United States, right? So many edible manufacturers, mm -hmm. they're using all these bizarre ingredients that you'd never ever typically have at home. Like how are you going to make it? Well, they're trying to mask the flavors of the cannabis is what they're trying to do. Mm. Um, they're trying to mask that gross, nasty butter or oil if they're not using butter. No one's doing what we're doing. So we have our cup of ketchup. Um, Justin, hope you're able to make this as easy as we are. I'm just using regular mustard, so we're going to put in our mustard. Nice. And then uh, we have our Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Hmm. Get that in here. Um, our vinegar. Yum. Okay. Ooh, that smells good. It smells good. So this and is Worcestershire. You know what the cool thing is? We're only smelling the ingredients that are going in the barbecue sauce. Right. We don't smell this. We don't smell any of the, the, the hash infusion that's going right now. Even when I get close, I don't smell it. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Once it's fully activated and you're close to it, you can always get a nice hint of terpenes, right? But right. you don't get that god-awful um, smell. Um, we're just going to quickly uh, use the juice of um, a lemon. Mm. Like I said, use a lime if you prefer. It doesn't really matter. Um, use what you like. Mm -hmm. but, but Citru see, citrusy. But this is such a nice quick easy infused recipe we're going to use four grams of sour diesel i okay. know it sounds like a lot but hey if you're trying to get you know i'm trying to get there you're trying to get there I'm trying to get there and you're using barbecue sauce you're not going to use a whole lot of barbecue sauce so you're going to want to add a little bit of extra um pepper easy okay celery seed Ooh, great flavor we're using brown sugar what'd you call me <laughs> you know, I had so much fun, what, two, two three weeks ago mm -hmm. when I was down in Orange County mm -hmm. with you? Yes. 
Uh, Mary had this incredible event, mm -hmm. and I couldn't believe all the women that were out. You know, um, vendors, yes. uh, manufacturers, yes. customers, patients. Yes, it was incredible. Isn't that incredible? And yeah. how many women were there? The place was packed. <laughs> I don't know if you knew this, Darren, but women are leading the cannabis industry. They are. It's the number one billion dollar industry in which there are more women leaders than in any other industry. Um, so it's a real great opportunity for women to really expand in a business sense um, and stay on a competitive edge uh, within the cannabis industry. So I'm glad that you naturally picked that up. Um, and I just want to, you know, piggyback how, how real it is. Women benefit from cannabis in so many yes. different ways. Of course. Uh, the health benefits, mm -hmm. the relaxation from the stress. Right. I mean, so many women are, I mean, they're not... They're not just working. They're they right. have a full life with they're children, working, and they're being a mom, husbands, and they're homes, being a wife. managing the house, right. managing a business. Right. Um, and this we went ahead and made our four grams in advance. Okay. okay? Now this looks like a little bit of sludge, mm -hmm. right? This is just all the terpenes. I mean, all the trichomes that have exploded. Yum. And we're just going to add this right to um, our bowl. Yum. Okay. Now. Can I smell it? Oh yeah. It smells good. It's really not it, that potent of an odor. Exactly. It's really kind of nice. Well, let's see. We haven't burned any plant material. Got because it. Because we're only using the, the trichomes of the hash. Okay? So I just wanted to pull as much of this out as I could. It's like a, a kid in the, when you make it. I want to, like, lick the bowl, you know? If you, like, lick the chocolate <laughs> and stuff. I don't blame you. Okay. So let's just go ahead and see what we can do about mixing this up. Mm. Nice. You got a good whisk in that wrist of yours, Darren. We have done this a couple times. <laughs> the nice thing is for uh, Justin and anybody at home that's um, um, making their barbecue sauce, this didn't change the color of the barbecue sauce. Notice, Ooh, now that this is all good. together, it whisked well. And that's just going to blend it all right in, right? Oh, yeah. There's no cooking or anything? There's no like cooking. Them? Oh. No stovetop except for um, um, activating the hash right. in the herb cooker. Right. That was the only thing that we had to do. And now, what I would do is the longer it sits, of course, um, the better it's going to blend in together. Sure. So, um, hey. We're almost done with barbecue sauce. It's just that Ooh, quick. It's just that quick. You want to hold and it or anything? Easy. Sure, let's He's see what a pro. We can He's do. a pro. Boom. No, we are not pros. <laughs> and we try to tell everybody at home that we are not pros. You know? Things look do not have to look. Look at this non-pro go. Things don't have to look perfect. If you make a mistake, it's okay. It's Absolutely. gonna taste good, right? Um, you can hurt the cannabis in here. Um, That's what I like most about the herb cookers. I find that the challenges I have, even with making the, my topical products, is you know, sometimes cooking the power out of the plant. And what I really like what you created with the herb cooker is you've eliminated that problem, um, which is huge because that could be a loss of investment and, and everything. So when I first started, that was my main goal was to try to find something better than butter. Mm. You know, the first time I tried to make can of butter, and I stuck eighty dollars worth of cannabis in my oven. Right. 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 Going, oh my God! I hope I don't burn this. <laughs> right. Because I just spent all that money. I mean, it was scary to me. And you then know? did you, you know? And you now, find yourself eating burnt, bad weed stuff just to get your money's worth. Now look at that. It smells great. How does that look? It looks great. You want to try a little taste? You know it. Because That's you know, taste does matter. Go ahead. That is delicious. How come I can't taste herb in it whatsoever? That's the whole beauty of the herb cooker. Um, that is such good sauce. Is the fact that you you just get a hint of the cannabis. There's no mm. plant material in here. We didn't burn it, burn any plant material. You know, when you make can of butter, you have to strain it out when you're done. Okay. Yeah, you do. Whether you use a cheesecloth. Or, yeah, you can get a silicone mat, but then those silicone gloves afterwards when you're done, I know. try cleaning them damn things out. I know. Even my it's, hands hurt trying to do it. And it's gross. 
and you still get plant in there. I know. And no matter what you do, it looks this like is that. what you end up with, <laughs> which is not the best tasting thing. So now this should stay good in the refrigerator for uh, a good two months. Cool. Okay. It's infused. Um, Justin, I hope you were able to make this. I hope you enjoy um, the barbecue sauce as much as I do. Uh, remember, adjust the ingredients at will. Add jalapenos or sarana peppers Ooh. if you prefer. Mm. Um, go completely citrus. Um, Dijon mustard. Oh, yeah. No, honey instead. Right? So have some fun with it. But that was the easiest barbecue sauce. And if you think about it, this did not cost us what it's going to cost for a good quality barbecue oh, sauce. Oh, yeah. Oh, completely. So you can make this all the time with the ingredients that you have um, at home. Um, we're going to check our infusion real fast and see how we're doing. I'll just bring it right over. I'll oh, put yeah. this closer to me in case you need a refrigerator for it to stay in. I have one at home. It will fit. Now, see this? Careful right over the top. because. Um, but now, this is what it's done. Ooh. Remember how dry that was in the beginning? Yeah. Right? So now... So we you're can... not going to strain that at all. You're going to just eat the whole thing. Exactly. What? Yeah. And you know what's funny is this is really dark right now. Yeah. You watch when we make our cereal bars. Yeah. Our cereal bars are going to end up looking like cereal bars. They're mm -hmm. not going to be green. Right. They're not going to be gross. Right. Okay. Ugh. Now we did make some, what was that purple? What did we have a couple weeks ago, Benji? Blackberry fish. No, that, that turned. Uh, um, the purple. Yeah, the, that was blackberry fish. Really? Um, yeah. We've only ever really once had something change color. Okay. okay? And it was purple. It was just beautiful purple, but the strain was just so dark and beautiful. Some people take really good pride when they grow. Right. Right? And others are just out to make money, I think, you know. But some people really care. And uh, we have the best trim providers. Yeah, you know? nice. I mean, you guys know who you are out there. <laughs> um, we couldn't do this without you because it's just so amazing. So I'm going to shut off my heat here. Okay. And let's just set this to the side and let's make some cereal bars real fast. That's my middle name. My full name is Mary Cereal Bar Connolly. A rumor, actually. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I love me a cereal bar. <laughs> so, for our cereal bars, cereal bars are very, very simple. Mm. Um, we're using nine ounces of marshmallows, Ooh. three tablespoons of butter five cups of your preferred cereal. Mm. You can really use just about any cereal. I mean, we've made Apple Jacks, we've made Fruit Loops, we've made Captain Crunch bars, we've mm. made um, everything. Um, some of the larger cereal bars don't seem to hold uh, the cereals. Right, don't right, seem right. to hold as well oh, together mm -hmm. as um, your small, smaller cereal bars. Um, don't worry about it, enjoy it just the same. You can crunch um, it up a little. You could, yeah. So what we're going to do is um, we're just going to use a regular pot, okay? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our um, butter, okay? And then right on top of the butter, I like to add in my marshmallows, okay? Now, I don't mind making cereal bars, but for me, myself, I'm not a big cereal bar person, you know what I mean? I look like it, but uh, um, I'm really not. And we're just going to put this on a medium-low heat. Mm. Okay. And while that butter mixes, we're just going to continue to get in here and just uh, um, keep everything Sorry. moving around a little bit. And we'll bring it over to you a couple times. Um, so, you like edibles. Love them. What's your favorite thing to infuse what's your favorite edible when you have a choice oh that's a great question baron i'm glad you asked it me personally with mary's jane i make a, a granola so oh. a healthy granola that's lightly medicated i use seeds nuts uh it's all raw uh, and it's cooked raw so you still get all the natural enzymes and uh, nutrients from pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds uh, walnuts and wow. almonds, uh, and then I add a little chocolate covered acai berry. So that's one thing that I really enjoy because I also feel the euphoric uplift of the nuts and the seeds. I also make a fruit roll up, 
Oh, yeah. Some secrets are coming out on camera, and that's really delicious. Nice. Um, but yeah, for me personally, if I'm going to buy them, I like a nice chocolate bar, and I also like gummies. So I have a really dumb question for you. Please, no dumb questions at all. I got into making edibles because I was in a bad car accident. Okay. Right? And a friend brought me this brownie and said, here, this will help. Right. Well, <laughs> it, it did. Helped. <laughs> but I had no idea how strong it was. Right. It was the most disgusting thing I'd ever eaten in my life. Okay. Right. And it had can of butter just leaching out of the bottom of the cellophane yeah. packet. Yeah. Right. So that's how I get into oh. making edibles. Because I figured there had to be a better way to make edibles. This, right? yeah. <laughs> How did you get into making better beauty products than people can buy traditionally at the stores? How did you do that? Yeah, that's a great question. Thank you. Um, well, actually, Darren, it happened quite organically. Uh, it happened first from um, me living off the grid and uh, being a big part of the growing aspect of marijuana and through having so much extra content like shake and things to make it with. Um, I really just kind of started experimenting and the cool thing is too, is that, you know, generally speaking, the trimmers are female. So at least, they are. yeah, they really are. Yeah. So a couple times a year, you know, your ho whole house is filled with, you know, 30, 40 females that are staying for a long period of time. And so it just, it really created the perfect environment to utilize cannabis, make the types of beauty products we were looking for. For example, um, the Black Coffee Skin Scrub. It's it's one of my um, most popular products. It's a brightener and tightener of the skin, um, and then it's an exfoliant. So you can go ahead and naturally exfoliate the skin. It's a brightener and tightener. This is how I got so. such beautiful skin. <laughs> it really works. It it's, really works. It, I couldn't believe it. Like, no, welcome, I've been buying... believing. For 30 plus years, I've been buying the same name brand product, okay. right? Yeah. And this was better. Thank you. Seriously, mm -hmm. was better than, um, comes in a gray container. <laughs> we'll mention Don't. any names. Right, right. Okay. Starts with, uh, ends with a vino. No, just kidding. Uh -huh. no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. Thank you. And the quality. Right. And one other thing, you you are consistent. Yes. Not, with your, not just your look and your packaging, but with your product. Yes. More so than almost anybody else. How do you do that? How are you able to maintain? Well, Darren, it started a long time ago when I decided to be a woman of integrity. And once that started, everything else around kind of kept to that. Um, no, but at the end of the day, I believe that, you know, we live by certain principles. You're either somebody who, um, you know, goes down the route and has integrity with what they do, or maybe you have another vision like the money or things like that you were talking about. So um, my vision is, um, to bring quality products to people who need, um, you know, the, the, the medicinal aspects of this. So, for example, psoriasis, eczema, um, my products aid in sleep, uh, my products aid in relaxation. They're cell rejuvenating, so actually having real-time effects on, you know, the, the reversal of aging. Um, just things where, just even you said, I have clients who reach out 44 years. They try to clear the acne on their skin. Um, they use my Mary's Jane Glorifying Balm, and it's gone. Um, so just really ensuring that no matter what step that this was, that it had integrity, it was with the right products, no matter the cost, that it was the finest ingredients, only working with the best of the best people. Um, and I think that that's a recipe for you know a successful product. Look at that. We're melting away. We are melting up. We're doing well. <sighs> Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Look at that. That's perfect. So you guys didn't know, Mary's actually 78 years old, but she <laughs> uses her products, so she looks like Feast. she's 25. Feast. Oh, um, I look yes. like a 25. Well, that's still doing good. It's still 10 under where we're at. Um, while I'm doing that, we're talking, um, I like to spray um, the bowl that I use hey. and my pan um, with a little bit of nonstick spray. Okay. Got a little nonstick going in there. Yeah, we do. And then let's just go ahead and spray our... Since we're on the spray, what I really love here is just how easy all of this is. Kiss, keep it simple, silly, and that's what we're doing. Exactly, and 
Do you smell any cannabis? I don't smell anything. So, you know, if you're in a college dorm, right. if you're a senior in a, in a community, um, if you're at home with young ones and you really don't feel like discussing it quite yet, right? you know what I mean? Um, it's wonderful. Exactly. Uh, our marshmallows are almost done. So. It's also really great to be able to medicate without letting the whole world know as well. You know, yeah. we have a lot of seniors that tell us their grandma's special cookies. That's you know what so I mean? Funny. Right? Yep. Um, the hash infusions, you can store them for six months in the refrigerator, up to 180 days. Easy. So you can make it in advance, do things when you want. Nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add in our um, three grams of hash to our marshmallows. Ooh. Okay. I love too. You can just put everything in. There's oh, so many. Makes it, nice. makes it real nice. There's so many steps in working with cannabis that you just eliminated all the hard ones. We did eliminate. You know, there's no guesswork. There's no time um, involved. Um, we were able to make our barbecue sauce while our hash infusion was going for the cereal bars. Yeah, good point. Um, it was already ready. It didn't take us hours. Mm -hmm. It's not like you came over and said, oh, let's make some edibles. I feel like an edible tomorrow at 5 p.m. Exactly, <laughs> and we started today. Right. Yeah, it's just crazy. So we're just going to put that down here and turn this heat off. Oh, yeah. Easy. We've done well. So I'll mix our hash in here. See how it started to change color, and now it's changing, and now watch, it's going to come right back. Okay, by the time we get this poured into our cereal bars, it's going to look just like cereal bars. Mm. Okay. And we're making Fruity Pebble cereal bars. That's today. right. Okay. And we're just going to dump those right in here. Boom. Okay. Mm, that smells good. I can't even smell the uh, cannabis in that. All I can smell is marshmallows. That's the goal. That's the goal. Okay. A little bit of that cannabis oil that's left over, just uh, I want to get all the goodness out of here that I can, yeah. It's so good. Uh, um, sorry, no, please. I wave a hot pot right now. <laughs> I well, look how right. close I'm going to, I'm like a bug towards light. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> cannabis, mm, cereal <laughs> bars. Oh, I'm excited. Burn. Yeah. So, there we go. Mm. Get that out of the way. Let's just mix these up. You guys would think this is rocket science or something. <laughs> um, it's just so simple. Anybody can do this. Once again, um, we're making two things that uh, we didn't have to use can of butter for. Mm. Um, if you notice, we only used the stove top twice today. Yep. And we did not use an oven. Okay. So not only are we being energy conscious, but um, we're trying to show you that it doesn't matter who you are where you are, where you live. Um, I should have sprayed my um, my um, spatula, guys at home, okay? Spray you spray it with a little bit of um, um, cooking spray. You won't have the problem that I'm having now. Um, I'm gonna eat that off later, we're fine. Oh good. Don't worry, that'll all go to good use. It's just about all mixed up anyway. Okay. Mm. I just like to ensure that I don't have any goodness on the bottom. Right. See what I mean? So, mothers at home that have been making cereal bars for years are cringing yes. at how Darren's making his cereal bars <laughs> today for the herb cooker. Probably not. Um, They're probably trying to get one themselves. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and. Uh, now, Darren, being that the herb cooker is just the you know piece of equipment you use to make this all, can the herb cooker be bought? Anywhere or? Um, right now you can get the herb cooker at the herbcooker.com. Hey. Okay. Um, get these bad boys in here. Mm. Okay. Jeez, I should have sprayed my sp my scrap my scrapers. I hate when you don't spray the scraper. Well, you know. <laughs> It's tough when you have a beautiful woman by your side and you get distracted. Don't okay. stop. That's okay. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. Me, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, get that out of the way. Ooh. And let's go ahead and... Uh, grab that cooking spray. 
say. And all I can smell again are the fruity pebbles. This is just... fruity cereal bars okay mm. once again it doesn't matter what cereal you're using use your favorite cereal mm. okay these are just always fun and bright yeah and then I just stick these in the refrigerator for about a half an hour okay and this is what you end up with Ooh, afterwards wow okay. so I have 18 yeah 50 milligram cereal bars. Right How did here. you know? Yes. Mm. Based on the amount of hash we use mm -hmm. and the milligrams, um, um, that's what we're able to come up with is 18, 54, or 50 milligram cereal bars today. Perfect. Which is wonderful. You can cut them in half again. 25. Yeah. You know what I mean? You. Can, it's funny. Seniors tell us all the time, that they love microdosing, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Or me, I eat a whole cupcake, right? They're just looking for that change, mm -hmm. you know? Like, for me in the middle of the day, if I eat a 50 milligram cookie or cereal bar, about 20 minutes, that little switch, you almost feel it in my head. Right. And all of a sudden, oh, you couldn't piss me off right now. You're like, I can see clearly now, the rain is gone. Exactly. Uh -huh. And we really try to talk about strains no. because strains are important. And one thing that's getting lost in this new cannabis explosion is finally people are at least telling you indica, sativa, right. or hybrid, right. but there's so much more. You know, I, I, I equate it to if I have a headache, I'm going to take an ex Excedrin PM or right. Excedrin, Excedrin, right. right? If I need to go to bed at night, I'm going to take a Tylenol PM or right. an Advil PM. Right. If it's just during the day and I have an achy shoulder, well, normally I used to reach for an Advil. You know, three different pain medications for three different things. Right. Strains are the same way. Right. You know, a blackberry right. cushion at night for sleep is a lot better than eating sour diesel at night before. Of course. Uh, you know, if you're trying to get some sleep. Right. Sour diesel, wonderful for Justin's camping trip um, this weekend. Um, Do you find that that information is starting to come out? Um, we're trying to help. We're trying to let everybody at home know what's going to help you the most. Um, there's no sense in just having the herb cooker if you don't know what to do with it, right? Amen. It's not necessarily um, the recipes because you never have to alter a recipe. Mm -hmm. It's just more the, the strains right. and knowing that you don't have to alter a recipe. Um, that's one of the biggest questions we get is, is do I have to alter a recipe or how do I do that? Right. You, you don't. Next week... We're going to infuse a strawberry cake. Ooh. Um, we had an email from someone saying strawberries are everywhere. I don't want to make strawberry shortcake. What can I do? So we're going to use real strawberries Ooh. and we're going to make a strawberry cake. That sounds exciting. So we talked about your coffee scrub. Yes, we did. What else do you have? Well, I'm glad you asked. I brought with me my black coffee skin scrub. I also brought with me a glorifying face and body balm. THC is a cell rejuvenator, excuse me, rejuvenator. It's a clinical anti-aging powerhouse. I recommend this as a nightly facial moisturizer. It has therapeutic essential oils in it. You just put it on and leave it? You just put it? it on, exactly. Now, if you put it all over your body, it is going to aid in sleep and calmness. So you it's need still, a gallon a night. Yeah, I know. You need to fill up a bathtub and lie in it. <laughs> THC is going to be a natural anti-inflammatory, right, as well as a pain reliever. So putting that all over your body is going to address with that inflammation and those joint and muscle plant pains. What I'm showing you now is a cannabis hair mask. So cannabis, again, is a cell rejuvenator. has proteins that rebuild uh, the proteins within your hair. It's moisturizing, mm -hmm. um, but as well as you could put it at the tips as a serum or at the root down as a mask. Um, the last two things I'm going to point out, and everything I do have, I have in both the CBD, and those are all my blue uh, packaging, and then I have in a THC, and that'll be in my green packaging and or other colors, like the coffee's brown. 
But with that being said, this right here is an on the spot roll on pain relief. So you can actually target the area uh, that's problematic. Ooh. Let's do it, point it out. And then also you could utilize it, excuse me, by rolling it around the hairline for a migraine. So you can go around the hairline and around the temples for migraine relief. Really? And would wow. I lie to you, baby? Who would knew? I, lie? I knew. Who knew? And then you can oh actually put it on. Oh right? boy. Isn't that nice? Well, which is really nice is that it's easy to carry. It's discreet. You can take it, you know, wherever you're going. And then ultimately that smell, there's nothing THC or CBD smelling about it. So you could use it in an office. You could use it all around people who maybe aren't cannabis friendly and no one would be the wiser. Just like grandma's cookies. Just you like grandma's cookies. You can pull a cookie cookies. out of your desk and you can pull out your roll on at the same time. Get rid of your migraine and be minutes. pain free in 20 minutes without all the hassle. The and last it's week. all natural. Oh, 100%. Everything is 100% therapeutic grade. All natural, organic. Those are fresh lavender flowers on top, but this is an Epsom soak. So you'd put one to three tablespoons in a hot bath. When you breathe it in, it also has aromatherapeutic components, calming down the limbic system, which is your anxiety and your emotions. So I highly recommend, especially if you suffer with sleep or pain in any way, taking a nice hot bath and then going ahead and using um, the THC balm all over your body. You can always double them up, use multiple at one, because it's topical, it is absorbing in your skin, not your blood. So it's not showing up for any drug tests. It's not affecting your liver in any way. It's literally just being absorbed and uh, taking care of the, the components you need, like the inflammation, the pain, and things like I, that. I, that's why I love this industry. Mm, that's why? You know what I mean? And you won't feel it. You won't feel high. You are going to feel relaxed and calm, but you won't feel that THC psychedelic. I love it. Thank you. Oh. I love sharing it. Your products are just amazing. Well, give me a hug then. Oh Ditto. You know? I love your oh. cooker. And everyone just always has the best things to say about your products. I mean, consistently. Thank you. And that's so hard to find in this industry. Thank you. Because usually blah, 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 you know, about right. somebody just because they're haters. Yeah. And Everybody loves you. Thank you. It's all lab yeah. tested and guaranteed. So thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad you came today. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been thank fun. you, everybody at home, for joining us. Um, it was a lot of fun today making the barbecue sauce. Yes, for Jason. Okay. Justin. Justin, excuse yeah. me. Justin, yeah, in Reno, going camping without us. Oh, we have words you. for you, Justin. Yeah. Okay. They're not nice ones. No, we're just kidding. Send us pictures. Um, yeah. Enjoy the cereal bars. Um, use the cereal of your choice. Um, Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook. At, mm -hmm. at Mary's Jane Beauty, and it'll be a part of the video as well. Oh, cool. And you can order your very own herb cooker at theherbcooker.com. Mm, do you it. You can always follow us on Facebook, do Instagram, I do. I do. Mm -hmm. Twitter. Okay, almost 1,100 Instagram followers. Can you believe it? Already, oh! thank you for the love. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and as always, one thing to remember, um, we really appreciate um, everyone watching, all the followers, all the people that told us they're making items with the herb cooker. And I'll tell you one of the reasons why, right here, take your own soya bar, is because taste does matter. Mm. Oh, so good. good. The best. They are. Taste matters. Where's the cannabis flavor? <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> All I can taste is fruity pebbles.